another episode guys or if you're new hi and how are you going where are we it looks like i'm in a tropical rainforest i could be however we have landed ourselves in darwin's number one tourist park it's the oasis tourist park and i'm going to show you around and show you why this place is number one and why you have to stay here let you know the tourist park is 100% privately owned. There's also 86 sites available and to date 22 cabins however they are extending. This park also is multi-award winning. If you've had a huge day exploring the local Kakadu, Leachfield National Park, all the different activities, jumping crocs, and you come back and you just want to chill out, I've got you covered. Check out this amazing oasis. It is literally sparkling clean, beautiful. It's a mineral pool. And I've got to say guys, it is at beautiful temperature. It's sparkling clean. One of the good things I love about this park probably not meant to say it too loud. There's no um, playgrounds or kids areas. So I've got to sort of say, it's a little bit more adults here. I know they do have family cabins and stuff, but you're not gonna find a lot of kids here, which is a thumbs up from us. While you're at the Oasis Tourist Park, they are very accommodating. If you are traveling with a boat, not a problem. And also if you wanna be a little bit long-term, not a problem as well. Just ask Ben and I'm sure he'll sort out something for you. So at the park, there has been a fair few renovations going on. One of them, which is on my highest list, amenities. You've got to have a good amenities block. And this one, I'm going to say is 10 out of 10. Plenty of room, it looks quite bougie. So I'm going to take you through and show you what they've got. They also have an amazing camp kitchen, complete with all facilities, double door fridge freezer, which is great for storing any additional drinks for your day adventures. You've got big flat screen behind me. We don't have a TV, which is great, but you know what? If you wanna catch up on the news, that's good. You've got also in the corner, they have, I've gotta say, I'm loving this. I guess people just, you know, on their travels may not use everything and We've got a little communal um, area, free, share. That's really great. I feel like, you know what, sometimes you may be up cooking up a storm and you might not have a bit of this and a bit of that. So yeah, that's pretty cool as well. Gotta say, it's probably one of the cleanest camp kitchens that we've come across. Absolutely brilliant. If the camp kitchen's not your thing and you prefer something a little bit more relaxed like we do, don't worry. I've got you covered here. There's plenty of barbecuing areas around the park. This is probably one of my favorites. It's called Ben's Bar. 
So you've got the use of the bar behind us. It's also got a fan in here. And this is my little favorite. This is my little kitchen of a night. Your little barbecue. Also here, all your barbecues include gas, so no need to worry about paying for those. Just enjoy the area. Make sure you clean up afterwards. And then things like this will stay nice and clean. So you're probably wanting to find out a few more details about this amazing tourist park. Okay, so it's nestled in the suburb of Virginia, which is actually south of Darwin. So we're approximately around about 25 minutes to the CBD of Darwin. But for us, we wanted to stay somewhere a little bit more laid back, not in the hustle and the bustle, and a place just like this. You're not gonna find anywhere else in Darwin whatsoever to this standard. Believe me, we went to all of them. That's why I've decided to show you this. Okay, about the rates, what are we paying? I'm gonna say, jump online, I'll put the links below because the rates may change. Again, if you're wanting to stay a little bit more long-term, you need to have a chat to Ben about that. We've got full power, full water hook on, the use of basically everything that I've shown you, all for your fixed price. Security-wise, not a single bit of trouble here. So quiet. We have not had to chain anything down. We've left the fridge out. We've left the chairs out. We've gone on day trips and absolutely nothing has gone missing. Everybody is so friendly. This place is boutique tourist park, gotta say. If you don't stay here, there's something wrong with you and you gotta be staying somewhere that you're not happy with. You should just stay here, I'm telling you, 100%. Okay guys, you've got one thing to do now, book it in. If you're planning on coming to Darwin, you need to stay here. I'm not gonna tell you any more, book it in. I'm gonna go and enjoy the pool. Remember, you wanna see us traveling Australia, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and you never know where you might see us next week.